What's up, y'all? Before we get into this video, I want y'all to know it is Yellow Boy season. And for those that don't know, put two and two together. You have a green uh, dollar sign and then you have a what? Uh -huh. So with that being said, in the beginning of these videos, I'm probably going to give y'all four minutes of great conversation. And for those that don't want to watch it, girl, skip the video. But I'm definitely going to let y'all know what's going on. Now, with that being said, I just want y'all to know, February 1st through the 4th, I'm going to be out of town. And I want y'all to know, I ain't telling you where yet. But I definitely need you to snap into the Snapchat because that's where I'm going to be vlogging at. Also, we will be going live on Twitch around that time, and I will make sure I'm doing my uh, live streams. It's probably going to be like a four-day live stream, little extravaganza or whatever. And, uh, yeah, that's what I plan on doing. Twitch.tv slash Royalties World CEO. Definitely going to be doing that, and I'll be live out where I am. So we're going to be doing ATVs and things like that. Um you know, not to the point where y'all can pull up on me. You feel me? Thank you, though. Know, you might want to take me out of here. It ain't going to be like that. But I'm going to make sure it's a good time uh, when we do go live. You feel me? Um, and, yeah, I just wanted y'all to know that. Also, to the people on the Patreon that's tapped in, please go to Patreon in the messages and tell me what you would want me to react to. Um, for those that's not tapped into the Patreon, what are you doing? I just reacted to baddies yesterday, and it's a vibe all the time, okay? Now, also, I would like to talk about um, that baddies episode because I really have a quick question. Do y'all think Roly can fight? I just feel like every time Roly fight, it's not really a fight. It's really not. She just kind of be standing there, and maybe she hit a one too. And that be it. But every time she get in a fight, she says that she won. And I just, I, I disagree. I really disagree. But like I told y'all, <laughs> I'm going to be including these. Uh, I'm going to try to make them in between two to three. Well, in between two to four. And unfortunately, that's what we're going to have to do. If you don't know the difference between green boys and yellow boys, ask somebody in the comments. They know. Um, other than that, Hopefully, this did what it needed to do um, for the YouTube, okay? If you skipped it, cool. Love y'all. Enjoy the video. <laughs> What's up, y'all? got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Before we get into this video, I want y'all to know I appreciate y'all for tuning in. The way you tune in, because you could be anywhere else, but you're here with me. I appreciate y'all for that. And yeah, we about to get into this video, so we about to get into Jason Lee. Um, basically, speaking about Krishana Blueface situation. You dig. Everybody keep sending me this, so we're going to react to it. Leg it. Blue face and Krishan. God, it's been really quiet at Hollywood Unlocked on these two because, you know, Big Blue's in jail, Crip walking, and she's walked out of his life. Well, she walked out of a set the other day that almost got shot up, too, by the way. Well, Blueface last week was supposed to do the Jason Lee show, which is why we didn't have a show, because he ended up having to turn himself in last minute. Uh, and, you know, now he's in the L.A. County Jail for violating his probation. Now, while we thought we would catch a break from Blue Circus, we're right back at it again because Krishan Rock is keeping the lights on with her latest viral antics. Facts. Now, according to reports, Blueface violated the terms of his probation for an assault case in L.A. a few years ago and won't be released from jail until... July 2nd. Now, I've heard that, you know, with overcrowding, he might be out sooner than you think. Uh, you know, the last text I got from him, he told me that he was going to go to jail and come right to the show when he got out. So I'm hoping that I don't have to wait till July 2nd to kind of find out everything that's been going on. Plus, I want to know what his jail experience was like. Mm -hmm. Hmm, I can only imagine. I don't want to go to the L.A. County Jail. I don't want to go to any jail. Yeah. Anyway, let me just leave that. I'm gonna Hello. Right on. Don't jail me, baby. Now, there's a possibility that he might get out soon. Uh, and I just mentioned you because the L.A. jails and almost every jail in California is overcrowded. Well, as Blue turned himself in, Krishan was right by his side with Krishan Jr. in her arms. Now, a lot of you online are saying, Jason, ask him why does he keep going in and out of the kid's life? It isn't his. And My question would be, why does Krishan keep bringing Krishan Jr. in his life if he won't claim the, the kid? Hello. 
you know, and I haven't talked to Krishan, so I don't know. But either way, Krishan was holding Krishan Jr. while she was walking with Blueface to go to jail. Now, Blue's manager and friend to the show and Hollywood Unlocked and mine, WAC 100 said that she's faking the- Huh? Blue's <laughs> manager and friend to the show and Hollywood Unlocked and mine, WAC 100 said that she's- It's the friends to the show for me. Faking the support for the cameras. Now, he said, quote, Cap, this is all just a clout move. She's the reason why he's in there. Knock off the cap. Now, there's been claims by WAC and other people that Krishan, I'll say allegedly, Allegedly. Try to set Blueface up and have him robbed and killed or some some craziness uh, and believes that, you know, she's only in this for her own game. First of all, that situation where Krishan felt like she was about to get jumped by Jaden and them. She already said that she was about to have his ass set up because she felt like he set her up. That's number one. Number two, I completely agree with him on Krishan. Um continuously bringing uh, fucking Junior around Blueface and he don't want to claim him. I'm completely with him on that 100% because what are we doing? But the WAC 100 thing, let me tell y'all something. WAC just said that Krishan and Blueface, well, Blueface is in love with Krishan just last week, maybe two weeks ago, which means what you think you have under control with him and her, he don't. <laughs> like, ever since the beginning, he has not been a fan of Krishan. He is not in Krishan's favor. He is in Blueface's favor, as he should. That is his manager slash uncle and some old shit. But with that being said, like, you don't know anything about their relationship. I mean, if he did, Krishan wouldn't have been able to post uh, her being with Blueface last week bouncing on that uh that horse in a club you know what i'm saying what he think he in control of he not now i'm gonna let him finish before i even go on to the next subject chair Wack also said uh that blue will most likely be home by the spring break you know so the team isn't too stressed out over whatever krishan and anybody else has going on or him even being in there now blue even phoned his first baby mama jay and alexis with a jail update now know this Jaden has a new girlfriend yeah, she does. Listen. Hey, I love it here. Active, it's cracking. It's the only place you can look over and you might go to jail for it. Because I'm already in jail for it. <laughs> oh, that's my crib, man. Hey, I love you, girl. You know I'm going to be home so Wait before the date. So now, after Krishan's antics, like he said, I remember, y'all remember, when Krishan was pissed off at him and she ended up saying that Blueface should D.I.E.? Y'all remember that? I'm saying that because he was just saying he loved Jaden last week. <laughs> Maybe two weeks ago. But then suddenly Krishan started talking about all this other shit that we all looking at her crazy about. And this is one of the main reasons that y'all are looking at her like she crazy. I completely forgot about this phone call. So that absolutely proves by the time he get out, he is absolutely going to find Jaden. So yeah, let him know I said that. That's why. And ain't no soldier boy niggas in here. Everybody with the year. Everybody with the full sled. Ain't nobody in here talking about some, oh no. Oh, the address. Bop, bop, please. Why are we getting collect calls from Blueface? <laughs> Blueface is going to find a way to go viral. We love Blueface over oh, here. God. By the way, um, I invested in the entire free Blueface line. I told Andrew, order everything in the large. You were there. Mm -hmm. Did it's, you get it? I don't know. It's not here yet. I'm going to wear no. it. Don't, don't you support, support free and Blueface? Mm -hmm. What about you? Yeah. But I like it. He's just in a little <laughs> timeout now. We needed a break. Yeah. Well, we needed a break. Yeah, we needed a break. But we, we're, we're not getting a break because he's still calling in from jail. Mm -hmm. And she's with her bookie. Now, since Blueface is away, Krishan has come out to play. But things almost got deadly. I told you she just had a viral moment where we all saw with our own eyes. Earlier this week in Atlanta, Krishan filmed a 20 versus 1 dating show with 20 candidates vying for her attention and wanting to be her boo. However, the exciting experience quickly went crazy and turned into a nightmare when a masked gunman entered the set 
and it was all caught on camera and went bro. <laughs> I ain't gonna tell who it is because I ain't no snitch, but they gonna, they gonna tell you who came. Nigga, nigga. <laughs> nigga almost died, nigga. Don't lie, don't lie, don't lie, don't lie. Uh, better post that shit. He like, Hello? who should I blow? And I'm like, don't blow mm -hmm. nobody yet. They ain't point. Now y'all better post that shit as they already took the cameras out. They ain't pointing no guns over here to me. They pointed at that nigga. Tell them stop. Like, I don't know. Like, it was crazy. Like, bro was literally looking at a fucking, I can, I felt him. Like, the one that was looking at the, f you beat him up. Y'all already punched each other. First, they was socking each other, right? Then the nigga that was losing, he said, fuck this shit. He took the gun and then just pistol whooped the nigga in the face with it. Like, basically cheating because the squabbling wasn't enough. Girls, I was called a cheating, y'all. So then he took all his shit out. And then just put it in the nigga face. And we're all looking at him like, one nigga got the camera, nobody calling the cops. I don't got my phone. They put that shit in the corner. And that's why I kept grabbing my shit too at the same time. Like, what the fuck? Then my security like, all right, stay right here in the corner. Okay. But that nigga over there about to get shot up. Tell I don't even want to hear it. Uh, I, I We already watched it, y'all. So it was the YouTuber that pulled the gun out. I felt. Do you know who it was? Uh, I, I saw some stuff on Instagram. I don't know. I don't know who the other YouTuber is, but apparently he was like allegedly coming to take his equipment and video footage. That's not alleged. He did that shit. So now you're gonna go to prison for pistol whipping somebody, and because that she pretty much gets get, just if you're watching this right now, two things. Go ahead and put the name in the comments and then tag Fanny Willis, the DA from Atlanta. <laughs> Stay giving out Ricos anyway. Y'all know she Fanny Willis is not playing out there. You see YSL every she is taking everybody down. Y'all went to Atlanta to play around and then went live and just said everything. Do you think this is why the world is fucked up? We're like social <laughs> media now. Because on X, if you go over to X, you see people getting killed and everything. Yeah. People getting yeah. haircuts and ambushed and stuff. And then they wonder why I go to the Abbey with security. I'm going to make it home every day. Hello. Do you think this, what, what's happening? We're Hello. desensitized to violence mm -hmm. and death. And the, like this young generation, they, I don't think they comprehend the fact that death is final. Like when you shoot that person, life is done. And for for them, you and them. For you and them. But it's like a video game for everybody. I don't mm -hmm. know. They just, it, it, we're so desensitized to the violence now. It's crazy. Mm. Yeah, it's sad. And like, the, I don't, I just wish Christian would get off live. Like not everything needs to be broadcasted. And I hope that 20 versus one never airs. I don't know. They're probably not going to air that, huh? I'm sure they are. Because That's so you're nice. gonna you know what's fucking with me, y'all. They the ones who run Hollywood Unlocked. Now they may not be the ones behind the posting, <laughs> but they the ones who run Hollywood Unlocked and don't even know that they stole them cameras. <laughs> they probably don't know. I'm just saying that's. Gonna subscribe to go watch it. Like think about it. The level of what you have to do now to get famous. Now we're killing people on camera mm -hmm. or right, almost killing people on camera Man. i don't know i want no parts of it um me either. but would we talk about krishan if this kind of stuff wasn't happening no <laughs> they're the masters of clicks. you wouldn't be talking they're about really blue face either and that's another reason why i feel like this shit is fake now i know i always had that moment y'all and y'all be in the comments like nick i told you here's my thing though I even said, like, I don't know if y'all know, but, like, CJ So Cool and Royalty, I know that's random as hell. But to the ones, y'all, if you know, you know, right? Remember when Royalty ass moved out and got a U-Haul and everything, packed a whole U-Haul or whatever, and moved out, and in a couple weeks, maybe a month, she was right back at the house, and they said that the shit was fake. Do y'all remember that? So when you see Krishan with a U-Haul, that's not far-fetched. However, again, what's his name? Um, Wack 100. He's trying to insinuate that that house is his and Blueface. So he's insinuating he about to put Krishan out. 
But also, Krishan said that if anything were to happen, she would be able to go back to her house. But Carlissa is saying that the house is basically she got evicted. Like, they got no trespassing signs on the gate. So it's like, what in the twilight zone is going the fuck on in this bitch? Okay? Because everybody right now is like, yeah, her in uh, face. I do feel like there was a moment where Krishan could have done so much more with her career. And I'm not saying that that moment's lost. I just feel like she needs to bring it back to focusing on that. Because what would she do without Blueface? Mm. Like to go viral. Like the music has to hit. Because if you go viral, and if the music isn't hitting and you're an artist, you're done. Then you're just a viral sensation. So you got to keep up this drama. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm at a, a point in my life where I want peace. I almost changed my numbers the other day because I just want to be able to like talk to who I want to talk to and who I want to talk to these days are just people that I need to talk to. I don't need to talk to everybody else. Uh, either way, I wish you the best, uh, Krishan. I want to see you happy. You know, we had you perform at our award show. We had you on the show a couple of times. Uh, you know, we have love for you. Healthcare Unlocked, you launched that. And Blueface, you know, you'll always have a special place in my heart. <laughs> and hurry up and come home soon and get on the show. All right, that's it. Whew, this show was exhausting. I feel like <laughs> yeah. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm not going to lie. <clears throat> I know shit be for clout. Don't get me wrong. That's not the part I'm in confusion on. I'm completely aware that these niggas do shit for clout. But what niggas don't understand is some of that be real. And I just be trying to decipher the realness in it. You know what I'm saying? Like what or where is the realness in this? That's what we need to figure out. Um, and that's where I'm at. So y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Do you think she really moved into Blueface's house? Do you really think that she... Um, She's doing this for clout. Do you, do you think that she's still in love with Blueface? Do you think that Jaden is even playing along? Do you think that Jaden's girlfriend is even playing along? You know what I'm saying? Like, is everybody a part of the shit show? Is what I need to know. And y'all let me know what you're thinking down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.